Hey team, welcome back. Barry Watson here, Wild Mountain Man. Great to see you. We're on this wet forecasted weekend. My plan is to continue my video series on how to wild camp in the rain and enjoy it. I want to look at three key things today and that is how to stay comfortable in your tent when it's wet, how to cook in your tent when it's raining and the third one is how to pack up your tent when it's wet, especially if you wanted to use it again that night. So if you're ready, let's go. Try to get to your campsite and set up your tent before it's forecast to rain. If you can't, make sure though that your tent is one of the first items you can grab out of your pack as soon as you open it up. Ideally pitch your tent so that the door is at the opposite side of the prevailing wind and rain, which will make things a heck of a lot easier for you when you start cooking. Having a tent with a good sized vestibule can be really, really helpful, especially when you want to get changed in when you're wet or for drying out some of your gear in. Now, if your tent doesn't have a large vestibule, what you can do is put up a lightweight tarp over your tent that can give you greater shelter from the rain and allow you to spread out and be far more comfortable. To help dry out some of your gear, set up a simple clothesline either in your tent or under your tarp. Or what you can do is have one to two essential items perhaps in your sleeping bag if they're not too damp. In terms of clothing, one thing I've been experimenting with is wearing a synthetic t-shirt and then when I get to camp, putting on a merino which is warmer. Now what I've found is that a synthetic one dries out a lot quicker, whereas the merino holds a lot more water and takes a heck of a lot longer to be able to dry. If you've been out in the rain for several days in a row, for morale's sake and also just simply for drying out your gear, it can be really helpful to find a hut or some form of shelter to escape to for a night or two to dry out your gear and to give yourself some relief from the rain. Having a book or movie on your phone can help to make it a lot more enjoyable as well. It doesn't matter how you spin it, tramping, camping, hiking in the wet certainly isn't as enjoyable as what it is when it's sunny. So it's important to keep morale up, talk to one another if you're in a group, tell stories, tell jokes, just keep the conversation alive. Be careful that nothing negative comes out of your mouth because that'll help bring down the morale and, and the enjoyment of everybody else. So it's a mental game, stay tough and that'll make it a lot more enjoyable for you. And something else that may help you and that is if you enjoy these videos you might want to consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on other future videos I bring out. For obvious reasons people are very cautious about cooking in their tent. One, they don't want to burn down their tent and secondly they certainly don't want to be asphyxiated with gas. And for these reasons I want to share some helpful tips for you in cooking in your tent when it's wet. Create a dedicated area inside your vegetable that you use for cooking. Make sure it's away from flammable items such as your sleeping bag, your sleeping mat, etc. And also to protect your vegetable floor from anything hot spilling on it, I like to cook on my canvas leg gaiters which are far less likely to burn if something hot goes onto it. Before you start boiling water or cooking food, get organised. Ensure you have a cooker, your gas canister ready, you've got your utensils, your food, plates, etc. all in one place. It's a real nuisance when you realise you've forgotten something and unfortunately it's at the bottom of your pack. Ensure you have plenty of ventilation from any gas build up by either pinning back the door with your boots, your pack or something that'll just allow good ventilation to flow through your tent. If your tent has limited vestibule space, folding back part of the door to create more usable cooking space can also be a good idea. To help protect the walls of your tent from getting burnt, put your pot on the burner before you light it. I don't know what it is with me, but I just seem to spill food whenever I'm eating or drinking it. So if that's you, put down a simple tea towel or a cloth so that nothing goes on your tent floor or on your sleeping bag. Okay, number three, the last tip, and that is packing up your tent when it's wet. Now, if you're going home, you can obviously pack it up wherever you like because you can dry it out when you get home. However, if you've got to spend another night in the tent, it's important to get things right. If it's supposed to be a nice day, wait until the sun hits your tent and dries it out a bit before you leave. If it's still wet though, wipe down as much of the tent as you can with a cloth. Shaking the tent can also help lighten the load. 
If you're able to, separate the inner from the outer. Take the inner, put it in a separate bag to the wet outer, and that'll make sure that the inner is gonna stay dry. During the day, if it's sunny, lay out your tent on the ground to enable the sun to hit it and to dry it out, and of course, make it lighter and more comfortable for you when you go to set it up that night. Whew, that was a wild wet weekend and I hope that you found the tips that I shared during this video insightful and helpful. And if you've got any questions or any tips that you'd like to share, please put them in the comments below. And of course, if you'd like to see more of these videos, if you'd like to subscribe, that'd be fantastic. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And until then, always stay safe, stay strong. See you in the next one, team. Bye.